Today I thought I would share some helpful information on working with Velvet after doing so for a commission for Padme's battle handmaiden costume from Star Wars Episode One. There are many types of velvet and for this project I chose a velvet with a silk rayon blend. These types of velvet fabrics are more luxurious, have a good drape, and this one in particular didn't have a stretch. Velvet has a pile, so your pattern pieces need to be placed in a way that all the fibers lay in the same direction when worn. Facing the pile downward may look smoother but appear lighter in color. Facing the pile up will look richer in color. Drape the velvet to see which look you prefer and then stick with that direction when cutting out your pattern pieces. Make sure they will fit. You may need more fabric than what you're used to. You may also need to consider the width of the bolt in order to make it work. You also don't want to double over the fabric when cutting out your pieces, instead keeping the fabric flat with the wrong side facing up. This is because the fabric is very shifty due to the pile. This is where having your mock-up pieces comes in handy to lay everything out all at once. To deal with the shiftiness of the fabric, especially with the charmeuse lining, I did a number of things to make the sewing go smoother. For starters, I used a roller foot to keep the layers aligned and feeding evenly. You could also use a walking foot. I used a Microtex Sharp sewing needle in size 9014. I used a stitch length of three millimeters, or you could also go down to 2.5. I raised the pressure foot on my machine and lowered the tension on the upper thread. Always be sure to test on scraps. I used a polyester thread since my fabric was largely made of rayon, which are both synthetics. Silk or cotton thread would be good if you go with a fabric that's made primarily from one of those natural fabrics. I used a lot of finer sized pins to go within the seam allowance to hold the fabric together. I also hand basted stitches diagonally using wax silamide thread. It's a nylon slash silk thread that holds nicely as you sew, so it makes it easy to hand baste and to remove it when you're done. The wax thread also came in handy for basting down the trim before I sewed it down. While sewing, I went slowly and stopped to reposition the fabric as needed in order to avoid the fabric shifting and bunching. All of this helped me avoid seam ripping. Velvet is not forgiving and it will leave holes in places you don't want them if you do not secure it. And then you'll have to cut out a whole new piece assuming that you have enough fabric remaining. I finished edges with a serger and for interfacing on the waistband, I used a sew-in type rather than a fusible. You don't want to iron the velvet, it will crush the fibers. You can use steam above the wrong side of the fabric to press seams and remove wrinkles. For the pants, I used the same velvet instead of a stretch fabric because I couldn't find one that would match the robes. However, because of the lack of stretch in this fabric, I had to install a very long zipper so that the pants would be easier to get into and wear. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions about how I did anything, please let me know. I've also listed some resources I found helpful in the description below. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.